Hi, Crystal. My name is Yandra Conrad, and here is a full website audit for Elite Med Clinic. We're going to be comparing your website versus your main competitor. And there are three main things I wanted to cover here today. First is your Google business page. Second, your website content. And third are backlinks. So make sure to watch till the end of this video because I'm going to show you how you can potentially have 55 new clients every month. So the only thing I ask from you guys is some feedback. Please reply to this email and let me know if you found this helpful. And if you can also let me know if you're interested in knowing next steps for this opportunity, I would appreciate it. So let's get to it. So when a customer is searching for a service, they usually Google it. I went ahead and searched up Botox Roseville, California, because that's where you guys are located. And I saw that you guys are doing Botox services. So this section right here is what we call the Google Map Pack. And to the left of here are Google Business Profiles. And um, as you can see, Google only shows the top three businesses in this area, and that's why you want to optimize your GBP. You want to appear on these first three spots in this Google Map Pack because this is where most of the traffic and leads go to. So I'm going to give you some tips on how you can do that. I actually found you guys on the second page of this Map Pack on the 31st spot, so there's definitely room for improvement. But you want to make sure that you add reviews on a consistent basis. I see that you have 49 reviews right now. So keep adding reviews on a consistent basis. It is good for social proof and it's going to help your rankings as well. So if you have reviews on outside sources like Yelp and Facebook, import that in your GBP and it should help your rankings. The next thing I wanted to mention here is what we call a citation. So a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number as it appears on your GBP and how many times that appears across the internet. So you want to make sure that you have more citations than your main competitor because that is a huge credibility factor for Google. The more citations they see from you, the more they're going to recommend your business. So definitely add your citation or register your business in famous citation sites like Yelp or BBB. Um, and there, there are other citation sites out there as well. So those are some tips on how you can improve your GBP so that you can maximize this map area right here. So now that we know a little bit about, the, about this map area, the section below that is what we call organic search. And this is where 70% of your business comes from. And that's why it's super important to optimize your website. So let's review your website and see what we can do. So this is your website right now, and I do love the colors that you guys have, and the navigation is very easy, so that's that's a great job on your part. Um, my first critique for you guys is your website content. So words on your website count as website content, and you do want 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on your website because within this, this content, you are going to include as much buyer intent keywords. So what is a buyer intent keyword? Right. So a buyer intent keyword is basically what customers are searching for on Google when they're looking for your service. So an example of a buyer intent keyword is Botox Roseville, California. Right. This is something that people will search for when they want Botox treatment. So you want to find all these buyer intent keywords and add that to your website. And that's going to help boost your rankings because that's going to help your website be relevant for that search term and then start ranking for that search term. So you want to um, understand that a website is pretty much your branding and this is the first interaction your clients have of your brand. So you want to make sure that your website shows the quality of work that you guys do. And websites are very, very important for that. And if you want to know, people don't really spend more than 10 seconds on a website. So you want to make sure it's nice and eye catching. So we do offer website services, but we also combine SEO friendly tactics within them because we believe in a beautiful website that that showcases your branding. But we also want your website to be found because I tell this to all my clients, you can have the best looking website on the entire planet, but if no one can find it, then it's not going to do anything for your business. So I hope that helps. So next, I do want to show you what's happening on the back end of your website. And um, I'm going to pull my web crawler program to show you that. And then we're going to compare your numbers versus your main competitor. So this is what's happening on the back end of your business. So right now, you guys are utilizing um, 431 of those buyer intent keywords we talked about, which isn't bad at all. Um, let's check out your main competitor and see what they're doing. 
So right now your main competitor is actually using 1,200 of those buyer intent keywords, right? And that's like three times more than what you have. And that is huge. They're maximizing, uh, taking advantage of all these search terms that people are looking for on Google and including that on their website. And that's why they're ranking first, right? And in terms of backlinks, um, this is the interesting part because they only have 83 backlinks and you guys have 474. Normally, you do want to have more backlinks than your main competitor, but not all links are created equal and some links are more powerful than others. So I would check the backlinks that you're actually adding to your website and make sure that they're not spammy. Um, you also want to make sure that the backlinks you add are relevant to your industry. So for example, you want websites linking back to your website to be about Oh, the top 10 Botox centers in Roseville, California, right? You don't want a backlink that's talking about the top 10 auto shops in Roseville, California, because auto shops or cars have nothing to do with your services. So double check your backlinks and make sure they're quality and authoritative. So that's my tip for you guys. And let's just put this all in a big picture, right? Let's just say that you implement the things you learned today and you start ranking your website better and that elite medical clinic of California is is um, is ranking first on Google. Well, this is the traffic that's coming into your website around a thousand people. Right now, you guys are bringing in 200 um, people on your website, but your main competitor is actually bringing in a thousand people. So let's do the math here. A thousand people are clicking on your website and of course not everyone who checks you out will become a client so let's just say 10% of that website traffic become buyer intent leads meaning a um, hundred people are interested in knowing about your services right of course not everyone who's interested and in inquire about your pricing will become a client so let's just say half of those inquiries become clients that's 50 new clients every month right and this is just from organic search just because your website is foundable on Google and um, it's eye-catching so customers want to work with you. And this is the power of organic search or SEO, right? And in terms of the money saved, this value right here below the traffic number actually shows you how much Roseville Derm is saving every month just from ranking organically. So they're also saving an extra $3,500. That's huge, right? That, that stacks up. And this is the power of organic search, and this is what I do for a living. I enjoy it a lot. Um, I believe in transparency in terms of how this all works. So I hope that you understand it a little bit better. I also love being in the process of helping a business grow, and that's why I love what I do. So if you want to know a little bit more about how this works it, or need any clarifications, then please let me know. Um, in the beginning of this video, I did ask for some feedback, so please let me know if you found this helpful. And if you can also let me know if you're interested in knowing next steps, I'd love to create a whole strategy and plan for you guys so you can start bringing in more leads for your business and potentially 50 new clients every month. Again, my name is Yandra Conrad, and thank you so much for watching this video.